Good afternoon everyone, it's Owen here at Perford Lakes and I'm currently stood out here on the 10th hole today uh, and I must say it's looking absolutely incredible out here at the moment. As a lot of you may be aware we've had a lot of rainfall in the last week and whilst we're really lucky with our clay base and how it drains, uh, a massive thank you has to go out to the greenkeeping team because without them the course wouldn't look anywhere near like it does at the moment um, and so a massive thank you to you guys. Um, just to tell you what's going on this week, we have our night golf event this Friday, something we're really looking forward to. Uh, it was a great event last year. We've got 80 golfers taking part, and so best of luck to anyone uh, coming to join us on Friday night. Uh, also, another date for your diaries, the 1st of December. It's a Thursday, and we will be hosting our Christmas jumper day. Uh, details will come out soon. Uh, let's keep an eye on that on the website, uh, through your website logins as well, uh, and we'll make sure we give you all the information in due course. Uh, and something else to be aware of, uh, you may see Sharon and Sean out on the course this week, and we will be working on some posts and uh, fencing around the golf course. If you look behind me now, you can see some of the work that they've been doing to the side of the 10th. Um, so please make sure you are sticking to these paths as much as possible. As we start to approach the winter and we see more rainfall, uh, the course will become a lot softer underfoot. And so by sticking to these, it just helps keep the course in the best condition we possibly can. Um, and I'll pass you on to Rich, who has a little bit more information about what we're working on at the moment. Okay, take care. Morning, guys. Um, just a couple of little videos from me this morning. Uh, back on the turf in the bunker edges. Uh, this week, uh, we're here on the 17th green side um, this morning, which was worked on yesterday as well. Uh, just producing that lip around the back edge there with an extra layer of turf um, and working our way down towards the pond there, where over the summer um, it was a very scabby area, very bare area, uh, got no water, which will change next year. Uh, we'll change the arcs and the sprinklers so that we can uh, get water to these areas. Um, we are turfing this area, we've tried overseeding, top dressing, fertilising but where the golfers are walking on from the path it just never never stood a chance so we're, we're turfing this, keep them off it during the winter um, which will produce a better better coverage of grass, um, better playing surface, playing area for, for next spring and summer. Um, the water levels around the golf course are obviously pretty high at the minute. Um, with the heavy rain and the amount of rain we've had over the past 10 days or so uh, but we're managing them we can fortunately pump water from the 17th pond back into the canal which is a great feature for us um, so the ditches around the golf course when they're filling up and full we can let water into this into the 17th pond which then we can pump um, back into the canal uh, as well as extracting water from the canal in the summer uh, for irrigation water. So we're pretty lucky to be able to send water both ways, um, which again is a great feature. I will send a video out to you in a bit with the turfing we did on the eighth hole, uh, just so you guys can see what we're up to, and I'll keep you updated with works this week. I'm out here on the eighth hole. Uh, in a minute, it's going to show you the area that was turfed and completed yesterday. Um, as you all know, this was a very bare, sparse area last summer, just due to it being the, the sand splash area from the old bunker that we filled in uh, when the bunker renovations were taking place. And obviously, we moved it over to the left hand side there. Um, this area will get incorporated as fairway and approach uh, next spring. A really, really smart cut down uh, around this mounding as I say as fairway and approach. Um, the next area for turf will be in between uh, the two greenside bunkers over there. I want to encourage uh, good grass coverage as close to the greens as we can in that area as you'll all know again struggled last year with GUR uh, for a lot of it. Uh, the course is holding up really well after the amount of rain we've had uh, and the course is very playable uh, at the minute, golf is enjoying, enjoying their golf. We don't want to get out here too early and force cuts on, on fairways and tees and things like that. Um, yes, they're growing still um, with the temperatures that we've got uh, and obviously the rain, but we don't want to come out here and obviously make a mess and things like that. Uh, next few days are uh, looking dry uh, after tonight, so we will, um, back end of the week, try and get out here. If not then, um, beginning of the following week and cut uh, cut everything so as I say we don't want to come out um, force cuts too early and it become a sort of boggy muddy mess so uh, we've got to take the amount of rain we've had on the chin 
and to get out here when we can with the blowers and the cutters and things. So yeah, I will keep uh, you updated with videos of the works going on um, over the next week or so. But as I say, this area um, now is, is looking really smart. Cheers.